In this presentation, we're going to take a look at the anatomy of the urinary system before diving into discussions about radiographic procedures and contrast media. The urinary system includes two kidneys, two ureters, one urinary bladder, and one urethra, and is often referred to as the excretory system. The kidneys are bean-shaped bodies with convex lateral borders, concave medial borders, and can be divided into upper and lower poles. They each measure approximately 4.5 inches, or 11.5 centimeters long, 2 to 3 inches wide, and 1 and 3 quarter inches thick. The left kidney is slightly longer and narrower than the right, and typically resides more superior than the right. Take a look at this CT slice, which shows the kidneys, indicated by the black arrows, located retroperitoneal and in contact with the posterior abdominal wall. Their superior aspect is more posterior than inferior, and they lie in an oblique plane approximately 30 degrees anteriorly towards the aorta. They extend from approximately T12 to L3. Looking at the different portions of the kidney, the renal capsule composes the outer covering, while the renal cortex is the outer layer of renal tissue. The renal medulla takes up the inner layer of renal tissue and is composed of 8 to 15 cone-shaped segments of collecting tubules called the renal pyramids. Renal columns are extensions of cortex between the renal pyramids. The diagram on the right shows the breakdown of the nephron units. A nephron is an essential microscopic component of the kidney. Each kidney contains approximately 1 million nephrons, and each nephron consists of a renal corpuscle and a renal tubule. Renal corpuscles consist of glomerular capsules, also known as the Bowman's capsule, and the glomerulus. The glomerulus is formed by a tiny branch of renal artery entering the capsule and dividing it into capillaries. The capillaries unite to form a single vessel leaving the capsule. Vessels entering the capsule are referred to as afferent arterioles, and those leaving the capsule are referred to as efferent arterioles. The glomerulus is a filter for blood, allowing fine particles and water to pass into the capsule. The renal tubule is continuous with the capsule and consists of three portions. The proximal convoluted tubule, the nephron loop, also called the loop of Henle, and the distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubule opens into the collecting ducts, and collecting ducts converge to form a central tubule within the pyramid, which opens at the renal papilla and drains to the minor calyx. The calyces are cup-shaped stems that enclose one or more papilla. There are usually fewer calyces than pyramids. Minor calyces unite to form major calyces, and the major calyces unite to form the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis lies within the hilum. The hilum is a longitudinal slit in the medial border for transmission of blood vessels, nerves, lymphatic vessels, and ureters. The renal pelvis is continuous with the ureter. Each ureter is approximately 10 to 12 inches or 25 to 30 centimeters long and enters posterior lateral surface of the bladder. It conveys urine from the renal pelvis to the bladder via peristaltic contractions. The urinary bladder is a musculomembranous sac which serves as a reservoir for urine. It's located immediately posterior and superior to the pubic symphysis and lies anterior to the rectum in males anterior to the vaginal canal in females. The apex is anterior superior, and the neck is the lowest part. The trigone is a triangular area of the bladder base between three openings, two of which are for ureters, and the third is the internal urethral orifice. The urethra conveys urine out of the body and measures approximately one and a half inches long in females and approximately seven to eight inches long in males. The prostate is a small glandular body surrounding the proximal part of the male urethra and is considered part of the male reproductive system, but because of location, is often described with the urinary system. It measures approximately one and a half inches transversely, three quarters of an inch at its base, and one inch vertically.